Okay, we're good. Ready? No heckling tonight. <laughs> okay, hold on. Me here. Sorry. I already hit the I live button. Are we live? <laughs> are we live? Yes. Hi, everybody. We are live. <laughs> and it's not even Saturday night. <laughs> so welcome to our Transformational Healing Seminar. Um, sorry you missed all the fun, so, because <laughs> you're not here. So, um, One of my mentors said that 90% of um, success is showing up. So when you show up, you get rewarded. So our... Welcome to our Transformational Healing Seminar, and this evening is really special to us. Number one, it gives us the opportunity to connect with our practice members, because as you know, the visits here are very brief, right? So the procedure of balancing your nervous system is brief. The healing happens after you get the adjustment, right? So the adjustment is an event. Your healing is a process. So our goal tonight is not just to give you more information, but to do what? To share with you principles that you can filter information through. Because think about it now, with Google, do you really need more information? I mean, you have information galore on there that you, know, you can stay on there and never leave and have so much information that you, know, you get confused. So our goal tonight is share with you the principles of healing so that you can understand, number one, how to take care of yourself, make good decisions based on these principles so you can be self-sufficient as opposed to relying on somebody else's opinion um, about you. So with that, we're going to get started. Our topic tonight is beginner muscle response testing. It's a workshop where we'll actually be engaging with each other on how to communicate with your body uh, through a biofeedback mechanism called muscle testing. Before we get started, we always like to share our mission statement. Our mission statement is to provide you with the best technology in holistic health and life care. Why? Our catalytic statement is to inspire people to live thriving lives. Because think about it right now. Is, do you think that's really what's happening in today's world? Are people living in thrival or are they living in survival? Right? They're living in survival. So if you can live in a thrival mode, you can then have more opportunity to light another person's candle as opposed to cursing the darkness. Meaning, we want you to, a beacon of, to be a beacon of hope for others instead of being part of the challenges that surround this world right now. So the reasons why we use muscle testing, try to remember these. Number one, to establish the priority for healing. We'll talk about that in more detail. Avoid trial and error. Haven't you been to a traditional practitioner and you have a symptom, and they give you something for it, let's say a pill, correct? And then it didn't work, and they say, well, what do they say afterwards? This didn't work, so therefore, try another one, right? And another one, and another one, right? Yeah. So that's really that scientific, right? It's trial and error. So we don't want to do that to you, because life's too short, we need to move on, and you know, be able to live your life. It also prevents confusion. You know, We'll talk later on, Abby, this is your job, you talk about, try to remember that what happens when a family of five comes in, how do we differentiate when they all have the same symptoms, right? How do we differentiate how to take care of them as opposed to uh, doing the same thing for everybody? And also, it allows you to um, identify your individual body's needs. Okay. Sorry. Uh, so... Another thing that happens when you do muscle testing on a regular basis, you begin to start connecting with your body because you're checking in with it consistently, right? Think about a relationship that you may have that's a close relationship or a potential close relationship. If you interfere with the communication with that relationship, does it get better or worse over time? What do you think? Worse, Worse because then the, the, the communication is de, uh, you know, deficient. When you do muscle testing and you keep checking in with your nervous system consistently, you begin to trust yourself on an energetic body-mind level. And the more you do that, the more you can then harness your body's capacity to heal. And that's really what's important about that. So we'll talk about that more in detail. 
Muscle response testing was discovered by Dr. George Goodhart, 1964. Um, not only was he well-renowned in chiropractic, but he was also renowned outside his field as well. Now, the most important thing that muscle testing provides us is to access the autonomic nervous system. And that's how you really can communicate. Because think about this, right? Your liver has frequencies. There's a communication between that organ and your body and your brain. But can you talk to it in English? You can't, but there is communication. So the question is, if we're going to ask the body-mind questions, we have to find a different language. And what we're going to be discovering this evening and learning and illustrating is how do you communicate with the body through nonverbal means, through many different ways, um, by using muscle testing. People go, oh, well, you know, where's the research on that? How come I don't know anything about that? Well, you know, there's tons of research on it. You just don't see it because it's not common knowledge. Dr. David Hawkins, for over 20 years, he actually did muscle testing. He's a medical doctor and a PhD. He's written many books. He's probably written like eight, nine books on um, muscle testing. But he's, he was a psychiatrist. He probably passed maybe six years ago. But he was really, really um, influential in the muscle testing um, Field. Dr. Klinghart, um, he also did muscle testing. He, that's all he does as a German doctor. He's practiced, he's practiced for 46 years now, it's 2021 now, and he does everything through muscle testing. Dr. Daniel Monti, he's actually um, our co teacher of NET. He's a psychiatrist right here in our backyard in um, Jefferson Hospital. So he uses muscle testing. A really good book in terms of resources and scientific understanding and experiments is uh, by Dr. Jim Oshman, and it's called Energy Medicine, The Scientific Basis. It sounds almost contradictory, doesn't it? Energy, medicine, but it's, this is well-researched, and that's why it works clinically in our practice. Lynn McTaggart called, uh, wrote a book called The Field, and she basically um, mapped out that everything in the universe is made out of frequencies and those frequencies allow us to communicate with each other on a quantum level. Barbara Brennan, does anybody know Barbara Ann Brennan? Because she used to be a NASA scientist and all of a sudden <clears throat> she began to develop her extrasensory perceptions through, without her knowledge. She used to study atmospheres and she thought she was just doing too much studying where she started seeing auras around people and she had her eyes checked, that was not the problem. Eventually, she, her intuitive skills became so powerful that she was able to become a medical intuitive. She could see, for example, there was fields in your liver. If there's a black spot in there, that means there's some pathology going on. And she developed a whole school of healing, Barbara Brennan School of Healing. It's a bachelor's program where you actually can you know, um, develop those skills and to be, actually become a medical intuitive and allow bodies to heal using energy. Dr. Uh, Lanza, medical doctor. This is really a deep book. It's almost like reading Einstein's writings and, and, and equations. It hurts you. You read one paragraph and like your head hurts. You have to like pause. <laughs> like, what did he just say? How can that be? What do you mean light can be a particle and a wave depending on your intuition? You know what I mean? It's like, how can that be? But it's really everything that we're doing in our practice. That's why, and you know, you guys know, you're all getting clinical outcomes already. It's not because of me. It's because that's how the body works. And my goal for you this evening, because, I mean, think about this. Isn't this true? Like, I go like this to you, and you're like, what's he doing, right? Like, what is he doing? And you know it works. You take it for granted. But isn't that, that like, chasm in your brain? Like, what's he doing? Wouldn't it be nice to really know what's happening in between there? And before you leave here tonight, you will have total confidence and understanding. Wow, that's how it works. That's how my body can really communicate. Um, the fortunate thing with our practice, I've been doing this for almost 30 years, it's been 29 years in um, past August um, that we've been doing this type of work. And so we have really big clinical outcomes as a consequence of it. So there's six interferences that we all will look into in terms of um, what can create sickness in your body. For example, if imagine these as buckets. If those buckets are full of poop, so to speak, you're going to get sick because these all reflect into the middle. You understand? So 
Our goal is to identify which priority, what's causing this symptom. It's like Rubik's Cube, right? So our goal is over time is to empty these buckets so that you have nothing but an expression of health in the middle. And we'll dis describe exactly how, what that means. Let's get back to basics. Why do we focus in the brain and the nervous system first? How many here work with computers? Right? I mean, yeah, all you girls and your age, you grew up with computers, like, you know, we had like the Commodore 80, so. <laughs> and we're like, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, Windows 95, you know, like that. The dial-up. AOL. Like, well, I had dial-up. Yeah. 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 Did you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And so you can see, right, the capacity now of technology to have caught up. It's just the, the knowledge and focus that we have now that we're beginning to develop that. Um, so, this is your hard drive. The brain is your hard drive. The tissues and organs and cells are your peripherals. You understand? So in order for you to have, if you have proper communication, you have 100% function in the body. However, because of physical stress, emotional stress, and chemical stress, what happens to the body? it begins to diminish in its function because of subluxations or interference to your nervous system. You go into what's called sympathetic dominance mode. You go into fight, flight, fear, freeze mode, correct? When you're in fight, flight, freeze mode, can you be in healing and repair at the same time? Is it possible? You have to pick one, right? You're either partying, hanging out with your friends, or you're waiting for somebody to break into your car. You can't do both. So when you become subluxated from overwhelming stress in your body, the body then stops healing and repairing, and that's why most of you that are here have hit that threshold. Now it's not working. When you go to what? Different practitioners, you try different techniques, you try different pills, you try different natural things, you try, isn't that true? You try what? What, what thing do you try? I mean, give me some examples. Dry needling. Dry needling, something else. What other things are, uh, uh, you know, either holistic or traditional out there that you could try to get your body to feel better? Advil. Advil, right? So, yeah, <laughs> and, and NSAIDs, right? Advil, whatever other NSAIDs that you could use. What else? Tech, different techniques, different practitioners. Doctors, surgeons. Doctors, surgeons, right? PT, acupuncture, chiropractic, right? But here's the thing. If you are not identifying those six interferences and you're not doing it in the right sequence, then you get stuck. Think about doing puzzles, correct? If you're missing pieces to that puzzle, it's not gonna get solved. And that's really our goal tonight, is to identify where these subluxation patterns are so that the body doesn't get inhibited. So what effect does subluxation have on the body? Dr. Henry Windsor, back in 1921, actually he was a pathologist in the University of Pennsylvania, he did a study, and for example, he was a pathologist. So what do pathologists do? They study what? What kind of people? Dead, dead people. Yes, exactly. Right. Dead people. Yeah. yeah, they're dead. So they have, it's like, what killed this person? What pathologies did they have? So you look at, for example, the brain, if they died of brain something, or the heart, or the liver, right? Or the prostate. So you would take the organ, trace the nerve back to the spine, and guess what he found out in almost 100% 100, 100 of the cases? Whatever that person died from, that organ system had either the most amount connected to the spine, that part of the spine had the most amount of arthritis or a curvature. Think about it. If you kink the nervous system, the messages don't get through. Dr. Ingber, I should really add that on here on the list, who is a medical doctor, a PhD from Harvard, found out that people with cancer Areas of cancer is where the kinks are in their nervous systems. Because the energy can't flow through, right? It's all about energy flow. So that's why it's very critical to, to do that. And um, another book by Rupert Sheldrake talks about resonance. So think about your spinal cord like a guitar string, right? So one of my patients um, had a granddaughter. She was uh, 16 at the time. She said, and she used to play. She was very talented. So she used to play at restaurants right and just you know play her little songs while people are eating and so she said hey grandma every time i play three songs after i play three songs i have to tune my guitar think about that what happens to the strings 
they get loose, mm -hmm. right? Same thing with the piano. The more you play, you have to tune it. How about your nervous system? Who's tuning that? And if you don't tune it, there's no harmony and you affect the tone of the nervous system. That's what D.D. Palmer said. The tone of your nervous system is really critical. So when you're getting adjusted, all we're doing is we're fine-tuning your nervous system so it can function the way it was designed to function. So let's get right to it. How does it work? So muscle testing, um, everything in the body is frequency, right? What types of frequencies are there when you look in nature? Or even just, you know, what things have frequency if you look down? Any answer? What's this right now that's on my face? Sound, that's so sound bright. And light. light. Light has frequencies, right? And then what else? Sound. 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 Wi Fi, those are frequencies. AM radio, FM radio, satellite, right? Everything's a frequency. Yeah. So the frequencies, like your phone signals, are frequencies as well, correct? So everything is frequency. So does your body. So if we can log in to see what the frequencies are, we can then start asking questions um, and allowing the body to function the way it is. However, so how do we know this frequency? So Dr. Masaru Emoto, anybody know who that is? Masaru Emoto? Okay, he was is a um, professor and what he did, he took water, put words on it and froze it and looked at the frequency or the um, crystals formed from that water. Your body's 80% water, right? When you're a baby, you're 90% water. So everything, you ever have, like water has like, you know, when you go to a submarine, right? It has the sonar, travels through there. What do the whales and, and um, porpoises do, right? Dolphins, they talk to either to frequencies, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, water carries frequencies of the words that they have. The meaning of the words actually have frequency. And if you freeze it, you can see what it looks like. So think of this. This is thank you. This is, what's that say? You're full. <laughs> if you look at music, let's do it, right? Actually, that's uh, actually words. Let's do it. Do it. You're beautiful. Those are crystals actually in the water that were frozen. Hmm. Dirty is the word. These are all different types of words. Again, despair, war, peace, hope. Can you see? That actually is called you make me sick when you say those words you got to be careful every word that you utter has a corresponding chemical reaction in your body and whether you know it or not it's either breaking you down or building you up so you cannot afford the luxury of a negative thought really understand that amazing grace love and gratitude then music different types of music you can see here Mozart, Beethoven, popular music, heavy metal music, Winter, Vivaldi, Tchaikovsky. You can see all these are all crystals. Spring water in Japan. Lourdes, France. Anybody know what that is? Okay, people actually go to pilgrimages over there. They believe that the water is actually because that's where. Um, uh, the Virgin Mary appeared a long, long time ago, and that water there is miraculous water from what people believe, and this is what it looks like. This was water that was taken from a contaminated dam, and guess what they did? They prayed over the water, and they took another, and that's what happened. So everything's frequency. Your thoughts are frequency. You can't see them, but they influence many different things. So your thoughts connect with it. How many of you have ever gone, oh, I wonder how grandma's doing? Ring, 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 right? Hey, how many times has that happened to you, correct? Mm -hmm. Happens to everybody because you're connecting to that person. Um, it's interesting. I've gotten so good with doing the manifestation thing because I've been really working with that with Dr. Joe Dispenza. I've been working with uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer's information. And all I do when I get up in the morning, so a little personal here, mm -hmm. so... <clears throat> First of all, so when I get up in the morning, you know how people go, you know, I go to the John, right? So I actually named, what's a John? What is that? It's like your bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. So I actually call my John Jim now. So I sound really motivated. So when I get up and I'm saying, as soon as I get up in the morning, I go right to the gym. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So that's, that's not really what I mean. So 
<laughs> um, so what I do in the morning when I'm getting ready to take a shower, I listen to all the Wayne Dyer stuff and Dr. Joe Dispenza. As soon as I get up in the morning, I do a 15 minute meditation with Joe Dispenza's guided meditation. Do the Wayne Dyer, I'm driving to work, I'm listening to Wayne Dyer, just like getting imbued about everything, everything we're talking about right now. And so there's a way, this is another seminar we're gonna do soon, the way you manifest things is by looking at it instead of looking at your... This is what we tend to do. We go to our familiar past, right? Which is familiar to us, but we hold emotions from the familiar past because it's a memory, but it becomes a part of our unconscious body. So what do you do? Because if you got hurt in the past and you got you know, um, jilted by a lover or somebody got mad at you, you don't want to ever experience that again, correct? So what do you do? You look around you like... I want to make sure that doesn't happen to me again. But here's the principle. Whatever you focus on, what? Expands. So you're continuing to look for things you don't want, and you keep doing what? Attracting it into your life. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So what he says, Dr. Dispenza said, what you need to do, go into the field, that's how you do the guided meditation, and create the future that you want. You go, does that seem stupid? Or does that seem rude? You're like, why would you do that? How can you create your future, correct? Well, if you're living in your familiar past and you're bringing the present moment, you're already creating what you don't want because you're remembering what you didn't want to experience. You're already creating from the past, so why can't you create from the future? So when you create something in your awareness and you bring it to your heart where you guys feel the emotion as if you're already doing it, your body doesn't know the difference between something imagined or real. So guess what? It's now accessed in the field. If you didn't create it, all that exists is what? Your past. So this has happened today, like around 1 o'clock. So I had a dentist appointment for cleaning this coming Tuesday at 8.15, right? So when I do things, I get rid of doubt. Because doubt is resistance, right? If you resist something, can you manifest it as readily? You can't. So I just said, okay, I'm going to call. Um, hey, Kelly, I can't come in the 20th. I'm going to go ahead, cancel it. Could you please put me in for next Tuesday, next Tuesday at 8.15? And so I called and she left the message. She's like, hey, uh, I, I heard that you wanted to cancel your appointment and you wanted the 27th, which is next Tuesday. I'm like, ha, 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 yeah, good luck. It's not going to be till June. And she's like, I can't believe it. <laughs> Somebody canceled. <laughs> Somebody canceled. like, Go right in. It's like it's open. Like I can't believe that never happens, right? So when you start doing these things and you suspend your disbelief and create what you want, right? And think about how dangerous that is what people are doing right now in today's situation. What are they focusing on? Right? Are they focusing on possibility and hope or are they focusing on fear, 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 fear? Mm -hmm. Magnified a million times every day watching the news. Isn't that true? You gotta be careful what you focus on because we're amazing manifestors as human beings. And why am I saying this? Because I want you to understand, and then when we do the muscle testing in a few seconds here, you're gonna go, that's what it's all about. I want it to be real for you, not just something theoretical. But that I thought I'd share that with you, that just happened today. It's like, yeah, there's no way you can get in. What is it now, April, May? Yeah, three more months. That's usually, they're so busy at that practice. But if you can create these things in your life, um, yeah, these are other, Are we going backwards? Yeah. Okay. Just checking, making sure you got it. <laughs> memory, you passed your memory test. So I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. All right, so let's get right to it then. So, you want to be an example, Maureen? Or what's your uh, daughter say? Gabrielle. Gabrielle, come here. Okay. <laughs> You've never done this before, right? Never done okay, this. Okay, good. Okay. This is not a setup. <laughs> <laughs> so, turn around this way. So what you want to do, and you're going to do this with each other in a minute here, um, the person being tested holds their arm out like this, right? You're going to make a fist. Always make sure the elbow is straight, because if the elbow is bent, then you have a joint here that could give you false information. So you end up doing that. Elbow straight, support the arm and the opposite shoulder. You're going to go like this. Come closer this way. 
then you're going to use about two to five pounds of pressure and you will tell that person like this and you say resist give them time to respond and i'm going to push down for about two seconds okay ready gabriel resist and right there see how strong that is mm -hmm. so resist right there that's it and you do that a couple times um so why don't you work together and then she can only use her left arm for now and for now maybe Three months down the road, we'll use the other right arm. So, yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Abby. Why don't you do that? And then come up here, Maureen. So, so yeah, pair with each other. Just use her left arm, right? And then do exactly like this, Laura. So hold it like this, and then here. So we'll get back up a little bit, Gabrielle. So come up here. So do the same thing to her. So you do it to her. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Oh, we're doing it the same time. Yeah, you're actually doing it the same time, right? So what do you, you want me to hold your, your hand you there. Just keep your arm straight. Yeah. Keep your arm straight like okay. this. I'm like, like this. <laughs> that's okay. okay. This and is have my you push line. down. Okay. Say so resist first. Okay. Don't do anything yeah, yet. Resist. Okay. Good. See that? See that mm -hmm. bite right there? That's mm -hmm. what you want. You got it? I think so. Okay, yeah, try again. I just like where to put my hand. Okay, okay, keep going. Go do that five times and then switch. Okay. Resist. So resist. Just like that. Right. Okay. So resist her. Resist. So yeah, try again. Ready? Resist. Resist. Okay. Don't use a lot oh, of force oh, for her. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't know. I, I, no, no, no. No. Because she has so much weight. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. Here. Here's the feeling. That's why you got to practice. It's like driving. So you got to resist. Right? Resist. Just like that. Oh, yeah. That was like, way yeah, too hard. Yeah. She was like, just take it off. I forgot I'm not at the gym. So again, resist. Yeah. Good, just like that. Try again. Okay. Sorry. And then when you do it to her, you're gonna go like this to her because you can only use is your this? left arm. Yeah. You don't have to do that. Just go like that. Make sure you see how that's bent. Elbow straight. Like so that. Like right. This. Try to reverse. Right there. Right. And then back and forth. Yeah. Go back. Okay. okay. Now. I was like, okay. Um. So what happens here? Keep going back and forth. Do that like five times at least. Okay. And there's the hand positions right there. Can you yes. see that? Try this again. You can either go okay. like this. Yes. Or, uh, so better. <laughs> so you can either go like this. <laughs> to me, it like didn't feel like that much pressure. Or you can go here. Yeah, I have the way yeah. I have my right. arm, but okay. or that I was just like. So geez, now watch this. Now. You ready? So is this gray? A blue. Blue. Okay. Yeah. So so <laughs> I'm wearing a blue. Watch this. Wearing a blue sweatshirt. Say that. Actually, just say this. Forget the color. Say I'm wearing a Villanova sweatshirt. I'm wearing a Villanova sweatshirt. Hold strong. See how strong that is? Mm -hmm. So I'm wearing a Westchester sweatshirt, which is not true, right? <laughs> Say it. I'm not. I'm wearing a Westchester sweatshirt. Try again. I'm wearing a Westchester sweatshirt. So I'm wearing a Villanova sweatshirt. I'm wearing a Villanova sweatshirt. You see the difference there? Yeah, big yeah. difference. You try it on her and see how that goes. Do the same thing with the colors for her, yeah. right? Yeah, go ahead. So go ahead. So that's blue, definitely. I'm so I'm wearing a Villanova sweatshirt. Good, make your face there. Good. I'm wearing a Westchester sweatshirt. Yeah, say I'm wearing a blue sweatshirt. I'm wearing a blue sweatshirt. She's waiting to see yeah. if I'm gonna like try to pulverize her. I guess. Yeah, no, I'm just waiting. <laughs> yeah. I'm staring yeah. at her. I'm wearing a blue sweatshirt. Good, just like that, and then after two seconds, <laughs> let it go. Right. So now watch. I'm wearing a pink sweatshirt. I'm wearing a pink sweatshirt. I'm wearing a white sweatshirt. And then if it goes oh, weak, you must be yeah, pushing it. too hard. Okay. So that it's clear. <laughs> I guess. We, so we so hear I'm going to run. Say, I'm wearing a pink sweatshirt. I felt more like I'm looking at Gabby. You see how you can't hold that at all? Yeah. Try again. I'm wearing a blue sweatshirt. I'm wearing a blue sweatshirt. Too, too, like real life. I'm wearing a pink sweatshirt. I'm looking at my brow. Yeah. There it is. Now go back and forth. Say, say, <laughs> yeah, think, think, think that. So you could say I have brown hair, and then you have you say I have black hair, or whatever, or right? Switch hard. back and forth so because your body knows the so difference like when something's real or not. Mm -hmm. Unconsciously on a cellular level. Um, I'm going. Go ahead and try that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm wearing a black. Did you see that? Are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> I think she's when going like really hard. Okay. okay. So here's the thing. When you first, when you first do this, watch this, right? Here's another thing. We're gonna do. I'm wearing a black shirt. Watch this. Think about something wonderful that you want to I'm happen in your life, shirt. right? Mm -hmm. yeah, hold this arm now like this. Okay. Put this there. Let me know when it's clear. Oh. Something, something beautiful, wonderful beautiful that you want that to happen. Or, you know, being in the ocean or waterfall or something and hold strong.
see how strong that is? Mm -hmm. Now, you can do this, both of you also. Think of something that wonderful that you want to happen, and then switch over to think something, you know, even something, imagine something terrible that you want, that you, you could happen in your life. Let me know when that's clear. Mm -hmm. Feel strong. See how he's like, try again, really strong, <laughs> try again. Stay with it, the, the terrible thing, you got it? Mm -hmm. Go back to the switch to the other one that's amazingly, you know, powerful, good stuff. And there it is. You test it too, you can see. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put your other hand on your shoulder. Good. Have you guys Wait, tried it? Mm -hmm. No, I don't know no. what terrible no. thing to imagine. So, oh, yeah. Well, did you do the good thing? Yeah. No. Like, okay, no. do that first. Do the good thing. Like, I don't know, like, oh, if it's money, I'll have a lot of money. Or I'm in a good relationship. Or I have a brand new car. Or, you know what I mean? I have a wonderful, something that makes you feel good. Or something where you, okay, I'm at, you know, the um, waterfall somewhere. There's something that you feel that's enjoyable, right? What's, what's something that you... we're not there. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. doesn't matter because you'll see how the body responds. This is the point I'm trying to make. Oh, because your body does know something. Imagine you're real. Okay. okay? okay. Imagine. What are you imagining? Okay. That's really amazing. Um, I'm at the ocean. So you, you the pressure. Pressure. Right. Like and you, you like being like, in the ocean, right? Yeah. Yes. It's not like you're almost drowned or anything, anything, right? <laughs> okay, good. Okay. 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 So, okay, let me know if it's safe. I got it. forcing me. Okay. Okay, you clean ocean. You're wonderful. See how that is? Really strong, right? Now go ahead and think about drowning in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> like he could do the <laughs> and picture yourself doing it. Like, ooh, ooh, you know. How about I'm getting some fish? Okay, that's even worse. Okay, guys, ready? Good. Okay, ready? Yeah. Yeah. Just go, the body knows, so you have to be careful what you're thinking about. That's why when I ask you to come, when you're focusing on things, focus on what you want, not what was. You understand? And it's very critical to do that. Switch back and forth. So you can do on her now. Good. So, so that's let her know to think about something wonderful. Tell her what it is, and so she can. You got it? Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what did you get? What was the experience there? Did you get the clarity? Oh yeah. Of, right. Yeah. So you can see how you have to be careful what you're thinking yeah. about. Because you can really do. <laughs> yes, exactly. And you're listening. The body is the masara of modus information. Your body is really listening. Yeah, sure. Your cells. Yeah. Say or your it? hormones, your you. tissues, your immune system, it's listening to you all the time. <laughs> the question is, are you thinking consciously about what's happening or are you thinking unconscious, fearful, anxious thoughts? Right. Right? Again, think about... Um, here you go, Maureen. So you switch. Okay, girls, you guys switch. Work with Abby for a second there, Gabrielle. Okay, right. come over here so we can yeah. hold this now. I'm Gabby. Okay, nice hold this now. You too. So think about something you're fond of. Some, about someone, not something, but someone you're fond of. Let me know when you're clear. Hold. And that's not that. Pick another person. Another that's person. That <laughs> <laughs> oh well. That's somebody. That's somebody that you wanted to be fond of, but you're not. Wow. But I am. No, at least I think I am. That's so funny. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. You got it. Mm -hmm. That's better. Can you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Think of that other person again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? So now think about somebody you could be having a challenge with. Okay. Hold. Hold really strong. Yeah, it just weakens your system. Yeah. Totally weakens your system. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Okay, so did you guys practice that yet? Oh, no, yeah. Yet. Okay, practice that. So you can only use the left arm. All right, go Laura, first. come here. Mm -hmm. Practice watch. that with her. Okay. So using the castle test you now. Smart. That's, that's my and I hold, I hold, do I hold so, this part too? When yeah. I so yes, yeah, I hold you hold that part. Do you mind first? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can go first. So just Sorry, give her the, the, the um, think okay. about someone you yeah. are fond of. I'm still putting you this. Give her time so, and so let her know when you're locked in. Okay. Like that. Good. You put this hand. Okay. And then, you know, sustain it for a couple seconds. And then I'm going to think of someone you are having a challenge with. Or we. Yeah, you have it. Okay, and then That's someone crazy. you're having challenges right? with. It is really crazy right. when it does that. Because don't you think sometimes, like, ah, oh, okay. yeah, wait. who cares? Yeah, like, yeah. the very first time I've seen, he did it, and I was like, yeah. wait, can we do that one more time? Because I know I'm pretty strong. Yeah. And he was like, it's like, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. It's kind okay. of interesting. So grab the doll. Yeah. I started, like, uh, three years ago. Remember this one? Yeah. All right, if you guys think this is so wacky, come here. So stay there, stay here. Okay. 
That's all right, Laura. This is my audio. Okay, okay so <laughs> okay, so watch. Um, come around here, uh, Abby. So, I so the baby now? yeah, hold on. Okay, come here, Laura. Uh. Okay, <laughs> touch that button. Okay, just uh, there. Touch the other one. Ring around the rosy. <laughs> What's going on? Why is it singing? You're making a connection, right? Because your body's electrical, right? Now watch. Still hold that button with the right, the, the other hand now. Right this hand, one, this one. Hand. Right, good. Okay. Give me your hand. Not yet. Okay. Oh, sorry. Give me your hand. Oh, hi. Right. You. I thought I was going to drop it. Hold her hand. Hold hands. Hold hands. And I'll just touch this hand. Ring around the rose. Somebody let go. Good, watch. I can rap on her face. <laughs> Do you understand? Right. Listen, weird, even weird. Kmart knows about it. This is not a special doll. This is a Kmart doll from a long time ago. Right. The body is electrical, you understand? And the body has frequencies. They're invisible, but that's what we're communicating with. Right. Everything is frequency. The organs have frequency. Your brain has frequency. And when you go to a, a, a um, cardiologist, you need an EKG, right? What do they do? They, it's electrocardiogram. If you go to a neurologist, there's something wrong with the brain. They do an EEG. What is that? Electroencephalogram. The body's electrical. So when you have interferences in the system, if you know where the glitches are, then you know how to reconnect it. So doesn't this make it more real, though? Because otherwise you think it's a parlor trick. But right. you can't deny this. I don't care who you are. You can't deny that the body's electrical. Right? The only time that this wouldn't work, if there was like a dead person there... Because yeah, the electricity really wouldn't be going right. through. Their heart's not working. The brain's yeah. not working. That's where electricity comes from. So you would go like this, like, besides it'd be kind of gory. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, anyway, everybody can sit back down again. Here you go. Put the baby all the way. <laughs> so any questions so far about what we just discovered there? No. What, give me some feedback about what you learned so far that's an awareness that you didn't have before. My mom was telling me about it um, uh -huh. when I was in North Carolina. I was just like, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was kind of like, I've never heard of this before. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. doing it, I just was like, this is weird. Yeah, it's weird because it's it. unfamiliar. It's yeah. unfamiliar. However, how weird is it that you think of someone and they call you, right? How that weird happens. is it that I canceled the appointment and I expected it to be, <laughs> yeah. it's like, it's your mind's you so that. powerful. Yes. She came to you the other day yeah. and, um, I actually ended up calling her later on that night, and apparently during your guys' conversation, yeah. uh -huh. um, she brought my name, and okay. you were saying certain things. I was scanning you mm -hmm. to see where you needed to be adjusted, I think, yeah. or your immune system was weak yeah. or something. Yeah. And, and what happened? What did you... She brought up my name, uh -huh. or thought it, uh -huh. and uh -huh. here, the things that you were explaining, yeah. I already, called my mom, and I told my mom everything that was kind of going on. Oh, so before she even told you before what Before I going? even told her, like, oh, really? I was like, you need, you're tired, you're this, you're that. She's like, oh, my God, and I am doing all this. It's <laughs> like everything that you said, she, right. you know, now she's having major neck issues. So right. That's exactly <laughs> <laughs> when do you go back? Next week. Next week. Hey, if you want to, I can totally adjust her if she's here. Okay. Yeah, just make an appointment for her. For me. But, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, that's interesting because one time I had an odd patient, and I don't know if she's watching, but um, she came in. And she's like, I understand this muscle testing. She said, really, you talked to um, Amy, remember? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, to I think I told you the story. Mm -hmm. So she's like, how does this muscle test work? She hasn't been to the seminar yet. So so she has, a tw I think, a 14-year-old, how old is she? Like either 12 or 14-year-old, I'm not sure, and a 9-year-old. I said, well, let's test it. Okay, hey, let's look at the 9-year-old, see what's going on with her. All right, let's scan her right now. It's like, they're not even here. I said, I know. But, you know, the field, it's like Wi-Fi and satellite and <laughs> GPS, right? Nothing's connected there, but... You can attach to it. So I said, let me think about her. Say, like, all right, her immune system's low, and there's something wrong with her T5, which affects the stomach. So, How'd you know that? It's like, what, what, what? What did I do? She goes, she wasn't feeling good when I left this morning. She's here at 8 in the morning. It's like, and she said, her stomach hurts. It's like, all right, well, that's, you know, maybe. So I said, let's do the other one. I scanned her. It's like, something wrong with her ankle and um, her hips off. <gasps> How did you know that? It's like, what are you talking about? She, yesterday, she was in a trampoline, and she bent her ankle. I was like, really? <laughs> so, and another evidence right there. So we scanned you. We read you before you could even say it. You validated, right? 
what we scan because here's the facade and people online you need to really understand this the must the, the facade is that we're all separate the reality is we're all connected if you look at the quantum field electrons are paired and they have opposite spins and no matter how separate how far away you separate those electrons if you change the spin of one electron the other one automatically changes automatically instantaneously in like immediately you need to understand we are not separate that we are all connected with each other the question is what are we doing with our thought patterns to either reconnect together even further or are we pushing each other away because of living in our familiar past with all the anxieties and anger and resentments that we've had you understand so really be careful with regard to that and that's why it's powerful to do these you know, be careful. Every thought that comes out of your mind, every word that comes out of your mouth is a prayer. And you're putting it out, broadcasting into the universe with an electromagnetic frequency and you're attracting into yourself with electric frequency into your brain. So another way you could do is a spindle test. Um, all right, Gaddy, come up here. I'll show you. If you want to practice this, right? So without, you can enter through many different ways. You can enter through frequency or thought but you can also enter just mechanically. So turn this way, right? Turn the camera a little bit more. So I'm just going to contract the deltoid muscle, so hold strong here. And that's not working. Okay. Let me see another muscle. No. Mm. Mm. Here. Hold. There it is. I got it. Yeah, so the pectoralis muscle. Can you see how it goes weak there? Yeah. I con contracted it. And it's a reflexive action, just like when somebody like this, it goes like this and you blink, right? It's a reflex. You can't help it. So watch. If I connect, it goes weak. Hmm. If I separate the muscle, watch, hold, then it goes really strong. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Right? Watch. You just can't help it. It's a reflex. So, yeah, so, but you do it yourself. <laughs> do it yourself. Separate it. Good. Contract it. I mean, tighter. I mean, more. There you go. There it is. Do it to me, so you can do, you can get a feel. So hold my you, arm. Hold your arm. Right there. A little bit there. Good. Okay. And then... Do just, the deltoid. Just pinch you? Yeah, yeah, so push down. Good. And then let it go. Pinch this, the shoulder. Yeah, you got to get more meat than that. But <laughs> <laughs> I know there's really not much there. <laughs> now no, go right here in the deltoid. There you go. Good. Push. <clears throat> okay, try again. Push again. No, push again still. Yeah, you can't do it. Go ahead and separate it. Good. And hold it again. Huh. Right? And you can do that with anyone. So, so the key with the muscle test is you have to practice it, right? So here's another way. Stay here. O-ring test. Take your finger like this. Put these two fingers. You guys can do it in your own. You can. Two fingers here and then the thumb. Try to separate this ring. And pick yes could be strong. No could be weak. Get it? Yes, could be strong and no could be weak. So you could practice. I have brown hair. I have brown hair. You know, I have yellow hair, whatever. You know what I mean? So practice back and forth. Get muscle memory listening to your body's response to something that is real or not. And practice it again and again. Okay? So that's one way to do it. So another way is what? Like this. So take your ring finger like this. Or turn this way. Oh, by the here. Let's do the other one so I can access this. So here. So, and then hold it strong. See how I'm doing this? I'm separating it. Go ahead. Bear up. Use your left hand there. And then, and then. So, so watch. Um, I'm wearing a Villanova sweatshirt. Go ahead. I'm wearing a Villanova sweatshirt. And that's pretty strong. So, I'm wearing whatever sweatshirt. It's I'm wearing a Westchester sweatshirt. Hold. Try holding it. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I'm wearing a Westchester sweatshirt. I'm wearing a Westchester sweatshirt. I'm trying this. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a Villanova right. sweatshirt. So like I'm, I'm wearing a Westchester sweatshirt. Yeah. I'm wearing a Westchester sweatshirt. Okay. Doesn't even go at all. These are fingers. Huh. Can you see that? So you're just listening. The body knows what's re imagined or real. I'm wearing uh, a so blue sweatshirt. Self-test. You can go like this. Try that. I'm you may not get used to it right away. So yeah, the, right there. So I'm wearing a Villanova sweatshirt. I'm wearing a Villanova sweatshirt. I'm wearing a Westchester sweatshirt. Wearing a Westchester. 
<laughs> Try again. I think she's got it already. Watch. Try well in Nova sweatshirt. I'm wearing a Villanova sweatshirt. Uh, right? I'm wearing a red t-shirt. I'm wearing a Westchester sweatshirt. <laughs> See what's going on? Oh, I think you got it already. It's just a quick study. Some people are like that. Like you'll find, that's why I'm showing you different ways. You can find something that works for you. Some people works better this way. <laughs> I had one patient a while back, probably like 10 years ago. She goes, well, yeah, my dog's been sick for like two weeks and nobody could figure out what's going on. So I'm muscle testing it. It's like she's eating um, Japanese beetles. <laughs> it's like, oh. is that what it is? And sure enough, it was right. And then as soon as she did that, she was like an expert at it already. She muscle tested everything in her life and so on. <laughs> Sometimes it's like you. Can mm -hmm. you see that? That's good for you. So do that one. Practice that. So the best time to do is practice it when you're at a, a, um, a light. Instead of like, oh, come on, come on. You ever get impatient? Like, come on, turn, turn, right? Mm -hmm. That's a red light. That's a red light. Mm -hmm. That's a red light. That's a green light. No, it's not. That's a green light. No, it's not. And then, you know, just don't, you know, if, if you like lose track of time, you, people will let you know. Right. <laughs> so just, just do that. It's a red light. It's a red light. So use your time to pay attention, direct, reconnect with your body. Get an opportunity to start. You know, think about this. In today's world, the traditional model doesn't want you to know what health is all about. They don't want you to know how healthy you can be. They don't want you to know that you're powerful. You understand? Well, they would lose money. <laughs> yeah, the, the profits will get. Everybody needs profits. That's but right. yeah, if it's set up that way. They don't want you to know what true health is. So the more separated you begin to become from each other, from yourself, mm -hmm. you can now be controlled. Is that true? Yeah. Our goal in holistic care is to allow you to reintegrate with yourself again, right? Let me see what else is here, Gabby. So. Okay. <laughs> here, finger stickiness. See how good you are with this too. So, so sticky is yes, right? And so yeah. I'm wearing Villanova I'm sweatshirt. I'm wearing a Villanova sweatshirt. Right. And then smooth as no. I'm, I'm wearing, wearing a Westchester sweatshirt. Right. Is it working for you already? Man, you get it. Like, that's, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so some people will just get it right away. Here's another thing. This is a harder one. And it's called occipital drop. Turn, turn towards me this way. What you're going to do for yourself, you're actually going to go like this. But you're going to go. So yes is even, right? Mm -hmm. and then no is so you'll go here so this actually see the base right here yeah so you go yes no no yes yes no can you see that yeah. so that's the way you can self-test again there's another way there's so many ways you could do this right so turn around again Gabby. another thing is surrogate testing we already showed that right so grab the baby again you stay here mom mom okay so let's say Come around this way. So touch that with the left hand, right? The button there. And then touch that with the right hand. Okay. And then give me your hand. Ring right, so we're connected. So watch. Let's say. Ring okay, so hold this now. Mm -hmm. Straight, right? Let's say her shoulder is not working right because it's painful. I can't muscle test her shoulder, right? So what I do, I'll use you to scan through her, focus here. I did that already remotely, right? Yeah. <laughs> and scan what's going on here and now. Like if we were to scan now, you're dehydrated, you're not getting enough sleep, you, your immune system's not where it belongs, your occiput is off right there, mm -hmm. your hips off, your right ankle's off, you got rib torque, your pubic bones off, so everything. You're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> we're all like this. <laughs> Exactly right. But think about it. If nobody's clearing these out, they're not going anywhere. They're going to stay there. Your body starts memorizing it, the pattern. And you wonder why you don't feel good. Because when your body is not in harmony, it can't express health, right? right. So, and that's what we do. That's what the surrogate testing is about. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can, you can do it. Yeah, I'll not touch, call you again, so be ready. <laughs> okay. And you could do that. So, you know, you could do, if somebody's injured, you could do that. Or a baby can't muscle test. Although, I should do that. Um, make the note. Mental note, Laura, that I'm going to put a picture up here. Um, when she was first getting adjusted, she was getting ear infections. I think I told you about her. She was like six months old. She's still getting adjusted like once a month or so. She's a little baby. I think she's like two and a half now. So every time she comes in, she's all of a sudden, I walk up to the mom. She's like, the baby. Like, <laughs> she took I took a picture of it. So I, I took a video of it. It's like, 
<laughs> she knew that she knew that we would be muscle testing. And it's so neat because the babies and I have another girl, I think I told you about her also. Another girl, same thing, ear infections, you know, six months old. And they kept bringing her in. And she knew that every time she would get earaches, I would adjust her and it would go away. Well, they can't. First of all, they hate doctors. They don't know what kind of doctor I am. But here's what she said to the mom. She goes, guess what? Every time she, her ears started to hurt before she would get a full-blown ear, here's what she would say. Doctor? Doctor? She would start tapping on her spine, like, go get me adjusted. You should know. Yeah. So that's that inner knowing that we all have. And that's one thing you really have to, if you leave here, when you leave here tonight, all I want you to do, start pausing in your life. Stop being a human doing so much, right? Do, 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 right? Otherwise, if you keep doing, you become do, do. So you don't want to do that. So you want to become a human, what? Being. Being means not being a spouse, not being a daughter, not being a mother, not being a worker, not being a student. Stop playing the roles. Stop getting your kudos of who you are from the roles that you play. You need to do what? You need to just be. Who's Laura? Who's Abby? Who's Gabby? Right? Who's Maureen? Who are you? As that little girl that you were when you were so innocent before the world messed you up, right? Reconnect with that. And that's the most important thing. And through the muscle testing, we can then allow that, you know, to happen. So what temps, items can we test? Supplements, right? Um, so, Laura, do me a favor. Grab any supplements, maybe three of them in the cabinet back there. You know where they are, right? I don't and we'll, actually. But I just don't. open those cabinets behind there, behind the, the front desk. Um, just grab three random things in there. So, for example, if you have, and you already know this, I mean, you use nothing but pure products, correct? Yeah, I do. Because muscle tests, the pure product that you have, right? So, three things here. I have no idea what these are. Okay, I have no idea either. So, okay. So, Gabby, it's your turn again. Come on up here. So, oh, because yeah. Laura doesn't like being on camera. So. <laughs> but thank you for volunteering. So, hold this now. So, we don't even, you know, you want to see because is it true that this has frequencies? Yes? Everything has frequencies. If you measure this, there's frequencies in here. So does the body. So you want to know, does she need this? Uh, gamma linoleic acid, it's like a different type of um, you know, um, fatty acid. Hold hold strong. Is it going weak or strong? Strong. Uh, weak. She doesn't need this. So don't take it. You understand? Mm -hmm. What's this one? The Kuris root. Hold. <laughs> She doesn't need that. <laughs> I, just just like, I didn't read anything. Um, you know what? Go to the middle part, like to the far left. Those were like magnesium. He's and like, all do that it stuff. over again. You know what? Like like these are very specific nutrients. These are this one is for like for parasites. Uh, so, well, let me see if you read that. So many parasites. No, you don't. So you don't need that one. That's a good thing. <laughs> Right? So usually we muscle test for like, go ahead and help her out, Abby. So we can have like either magnesium or omega-3, a vitamin D, right? And then when you can find those, um, you have a cell phone? No, I don't. Okay, good. Uh, you have your cell phone? Yeah. Yeah, grab that. So here's another thing we need to test. Okay. I'm on the phone often. What's that? Okay, yeah. good. Right, you have to really be careful. Just watch this. Hold this arm. Hold strong. All right, girls. Don't be taking stuff. Just... Uh, all right, we'll have to put this back later on. That's it. Probiotic, omega-3, uh, yeah. and B12. There you go. There Let's you do go. more. Thank you. Good teamwork, girls. <laughs> okay. I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, emotional support. That means something. Do that. <laughs> totally do so probiotics, right? Hold this now. Put it close to you. Hold. See the difference? Mm -hmm. Then you can dose it. One, two. She needs two a day. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. One, two. That, that's in the clear. See the difference? Yeah. You go back here again to GLA, even though every, this is good for you. Hold. There's no guessing. Mm -hmm. Don't buy stuff you don't need. So when you go to the you know, health food store, so this is B12 plus. Hold. That's really strong. Can you see how strong that is? Try that. <laughs> oh, man, I can't even punch that at all. One, two, three, four, five. Somebody's deficient in B12. Oh, wow. Yeah, six. That's energy right there. You know what I mean? Probably being sleep deprived. Yeah, yeah, that too. So fish oil, omega-3. Hold. That's fine. One, two, three, 
Somebody's deprived <laughs> for those a day. So that's for brain health, memory, um, hormones. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how you can do that now. So um, here, I'll test you instead. Come around. Let me see. Let me get three. Hold that. She doesn't need it. Hold. Try again. Right? You can't assume that omega-3 is good for you. Correct? Hold. Are you holding? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, this shoulder's okay. so, that seems okay, the shoulder the other one. a little sore. Okay, try that. So, <laughs> but I'm letting you just do whatever. Okay, hold. No, you yeah, don't like it at all. Yeah, okay. How about probiotics? Yeah. Nope. 12. Nope. The Chris root or adrenals. <laughs> Can I say? Nope. She's really healthy. She's showing off here. <laughs> nope. Doesn't need that either. Stay in the clear. Hold. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So GLA. Doesn't need any of it. So that means, you know what? She probably pays really good attention to her diet. Yes, I do. She probably puts no chemicals on her body. So these things are necessary when our systems are out of balance. You understand? It's part of the equation, but you have to be very specific in terms of what you're doing. Make sense? Oh, the phone thing. Here. Okay, let's do this, Maureen, while you're here, and then we'll try it on her, on Gabby, too. Is it on here? So just turn it on, so watch what happens. So these have frequencies. By the way, we have um, the LR3s here that actually will turn some of the EMFs in your phone into light energy, and it'll affect you less, right? Come, um, okay, come close this way. So hold strong. Right about there. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Hold. It starts to go weak. The EMFs are already affecting her this far away. Is it a good idea to put it on your ear? Yeah. It's a good idea to put it in your shirt like yeah. this. Or in next to your uterus. Yeah. And ovaries. <laughs> That's what people are doing. And I yell at my I kids all the time. Well, test it. You're I have come four in of them and yeah. I yell at all of them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you know, these, here's the thing. You stop pair up. Pair, uh, playing power struggles with your kids because you have them be empowered by understanding what's really going on, right? So watch. Stay there. Hold. Wow. You're really sensitive. Your mom was like here. You're like right there. Can you see that? Watch. Yeah. Hold, 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 hold. Right there. Watch. Forget it. Hold. <laughs> <laughs> You're like totally done. Try the other side. Hold again. Hold. Hold strong. Gone. Gone. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> do you understand? Where are we supposed to put it? What's that? Where, where are we in your purse. To put in your hand yeah, in your it. purse. Oh. Exactly. I yell what about when we oh. talk on the phone? What's that? You, you Go like this. Put on speaker. speaker. You don't. That's usually what I do in my apartment. Don't ever do yeah, this. Don't ever keep it far okay. away. Mary, let's talk to you. I'm probably like ridiculous. I'm excited. I'm getting blown out about this. Yeah. I'll think. Yeah, just put that behind you. They'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, Monday, right? Yeah. Is it on still? I think it went out there. <laughs> Is that still on? Yeah, it's still okay. on. Okay. That's too much. Yeah, right there. So yours is right you're there. You're really close. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you're not as sensitive, but here. Yeah, not here. Not too bad there, but there. Definitely not there. Definitely not there. See that? Put up near okay. my head is fine. Yeah, but not yeah, else. not so much. Yeah, <laughs> but still well, though, keep it away every, from yeah, head, everything's right? cumulative. Here you go, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. later yeah. on. So you can yeah. test foods. Uh, my kids have always been, we've always muscle tested them ever since they were little. So um, I remember, I think one, one of them was like four or something, and it's like, yeah, okay, muscle test me for this if I can eat this, you know. And then Cameron, my 15 year old, when he was little, he was more like, you know, he'd like to eat stuff that's not good for him, and I said, all right. What happens when you eat that bagel? It's full of like you know chemicals, chemicals and, and, and you know, gluten and stuff and inorganic. What happens? Oh yeah, I start to get snot nose. Okay, are you willing to suffer that snot nose if you eat this now? So you stop pulling rank on them. You say, listen to your body. You're teaching them now. Because think about what we do in today's world, right? If you don't live in a holistic um, lifestyle, you go, oh mom, I don't feel good. Oh, take this Tylenol. Oh, I don't feel good. Don't take this antidepressant, right? Yeah. And then you say, oh, mom, I don't feel good. Just say no to drugs. Don't take drugs. Like, what have you yeah. been telling me all my life? If I don't feel good, I should take what? A drug. And then you tell me not to take a drug. It's a contradiction, yeah. right? 
So then what I do, I would say, okay, let's muscle test the bagel. You really want to eat it. Let's muscle test it. Nope. It's saying no. You still want to eat it? Fine. But know there's going to be consequences. Right. Make sense? So the same thing, if you're going to go out partying, right? We already did the cell phones, microwave chemicals, alcohol. So it's like, hey, can I drink this wine? Sometimes it's organic, not organic. Test it. How many can I have? One glass, two glass, five bottles, ten bottles? <laughs> <laughs> so that <laughs> makes sense? Yes. Muscle test it. Chemicals in the household, what, you, what kind of chemicals? What lotions are you putting on your body, right? A lot of them are full of hormones and, and chemicals that are outlawed in Europe, but not in the United States. So, um, here's the thing. Here's the holistic approach. So come back here, Maureen. So, so if you are like allergic to coconut, yes. would you have to hold the coconut? Yeah. First, then... anytime you do this, because you're still beginners, you want it to be as real and close to solid as possible. Don't jump right into the quantum because it takes time to get there, right? You know, um, yeah, initially you should, you know, put your hand on the, you know, don't stick yourself with the finger in there if you go into anaphylaxis. So, but touch the top of the bottle or something, you know? Okay. Um, so, for example, so what we would do, come close this way again. The first thing we do to get your body balanced, remember we talk about physical, emotional, and chemical stress, is analyze where your subluxations are, right? So, in your case, you should not be subluxated. I just adjusted you the other day. One day, just less. Monday. Sorry, your hip's off already. Right yeah. there. So, you see, I'm touching her left hip. It's already needs to be adjusted, right? Not the right hip, not the rib torque, not the cervicals. Pubic bone's out already. Hip. Can you see that? So, and analyze and clear the subluxations. And then, once we clear that out, what do you do? Adjust extremities. She goes, okay, you know this, like, oh, my shoulders. You don't immediately go to the shoulder, clear the nervous system first, and then go to the extremity. Why? Why do you think? Any idea? Why would you start with the spine first, not the extremity? Because the spine is where it sends out the messages. That's exactly. That's where it emanates from. It's starting here, right? It goes out. It goes middle and goes out. So if you're going to mess with this without clearing this, there could be interference here, and that's not going to work. Do you understand? What happened to you when I first adjusted you the first day when you didn't even realize? <laughs> what happened to that? I don't know. What are we talking about now? Oh, when when I, I, yeah, well, remember then, that? Yeah. When I first adjusted her, she's like, oh, my shoulder. I couldn't even move it. She I got a corset. <laughs> she got a corset because she had no idea. It doesn't usually happen for months down the road, but she was such a fast responder. She had to get a course on because her shoulder was in such pain. She couldn't yeah. even sleep, right? Because things began to unwind. Well, then we worked on it, and she was fine after a couple of visits. It was never her shoulder, right? It was her nervous system. Does that make sense? That's why you always start here, not always extremity. The next thing you know is your position of subluxation. So when we're doing this, how do I usually adjust you, right? How do we start? Well, on your back first, yeah. right? Because you're subluxated differently when you're laying down. Are you subluxated differently when you sit up? Mm -hmm. Gravity's different, yes? Because you're not on your feet, you're sitting on your you know, ischial tuberosities. Mm -hmm. You're different subluxated there. So check there. How about when you're face down? Mm -hmm. Different subluxations, yes? Mm -hmm. How about when you're standing? Mm -hmm. So if you check all those different, and then if you really want to get, that's about 90%. If you're like, and you'll see this, look, I'll go, mm, move your arm, okay, it hurts there. Now check there where your symptoms are. The symptom's not always the problem, but you can ask where it's coming from. Make sense? And that's the most important thing. So you want to look at for the position of subluxation. Then what do we do next? We want to check for emotional components because this is a whole seminar within itself. There could be emotions associated that's creating that subluxation that will not go away until you clear the old emotions that is trapped in your body-mind from eons ago. You've already done NET, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So that's yes. what happens. Then this is what we do. Hold this stuff. <laughs> What's that? That was like a lot. Yeah, that was a lot of work. Hold strong, right? If there's something neuroemotional, hold strong. Put your hand in your forehead. If you did that, hold. And it's strong, so there's nothing a priority. But if you did that, we always scan it after we adjust you and scan. If there's a neuroemotional neuro component, the genetic windows in your body have opened and opened, jump in 
clear it out because the body's ready. Always ask the body for clarity in terms of permission too. So another emotional component. And the next thing is we check for homeopathic remedies. Because if your body has emotions that are stuck in the organs, you stress those organs. And what we do in NET, for each organ system, there's a homeopathic remedy associated with clearing the toxins from that organ. So we'll check for the homeopathic. And then we check for immune system, right? So as a matter of fact, if you look at these different points here, see this? Different points mean different things. You can have immune system, general immune system, you have virus, you have parasite, you have gut, you have gallbladder and so on. And you can also check for nutritional deficiencies, right? So you're pretty clear, but let me get Gabby again. So, <laughs> And again, we're not trying to judge anybody, but if you're not getting cleared all the time, what are you going to find? Interferences, right? Mm -hmm. So if we're just going to scan for organs, like hold this now. So we can go thyroid. Oop, here we go. Yeah, thyroid's not happy. So you have lung, lung, the other arm here. So if you can see, hold. You can see gallbladder, stomach pancreas, spleen, large intestine. You see that? Mm -hmm. That's we already knew that. So watch this too. This is called two-pointing. See how that goes weak? The large intestine is not happy. Put that on your chest there. And it makes it stronger. Meaning, mm -hmm. if you do the probiotics, it'll clear the large intestine issue. That makes mm -hmm. sense? Because mm -hmm. watch. If you do the GLA, it makes no difference. Mm -hmm. It's called two-pointing. You find where the problem is, and then you identify what the solution is, B12 doesn't do anything, right? Mm -hmm. Probiotics. And there it is. So there's no guessing, you get it? Then you can understand then what the body needs. Don't you think that's cool? Yeah. Okay, watch. Uh, we already checked you for supplementation, we already know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Over there. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Like when she's here, like for the rest of the time, we'll check her as often as we need to. And then until you go back home. She might and then want you'll some be of supplements. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Again, <laughs> my we, chiropractor, they do the anabolic laboratories yeah. as well. And I usually take, uh, I need to start taking my probiotic because I do have one. Okay. I take magnesium mm -hmm. and then I take a B complex. Right, exactly. And that's why the B, you know, showed up good for you. So, again, the nice thing about it, and I, I really admire Dr. Wayne Dyer, he said, when you look at the body, when you look at your life, the best way you can really get benefit for that person yourself is to be open to everything but be attached to nothing dr. Um, TVM um, teacher that we had Victor Frank said anything can cause anything and anything can fix anything don't be so dogmatic in what you were learning in school because your finite mind your educated finite mind is finite correct you could be like the best brain surgeon in the world but I'm not probably not gonna ask you to fix my plumbing you understand? It's not because it's a bad thing. It just does. It just means that not everything is knowledgeable. Uh, it's not you can't know everything. But think about this: the infinite knowledge of your body, right? The infinite body mind is what has all the data from past generations that you came from on how to heal things properly. That's what's being accessed. Like you know, you just started your Abby. You're know, like, well, am I gonna get better? Like. You will get yourself better, not me. All I'm doing is scanning your system and what's the next step, what's the next step, what's the next step, right? So, yeah, you definitely check with the nutritional deficiency. So go back to the, remember what your homework was? What are you supposed to remind me about? The family of five. But family of five. You have kindergarten, fifth grader, high schooler, mom, dad, right? Before whole, this whole crazy thing happened, they used to be the flu. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So um, people would come in and they go, oh, we have all have the flu. And if you go to a traditional doctor that you didn't know if you thought it was a bacterial infection, what would they give you? Paul, oh, if you had a bacterial infection because you have a symptom. Yeah. Antibiotics for everybody, yes? Because the assumption is everybody has the same thing because you pass it on to each other. Here's our experience. We will scan the youngest guy, the kindergarten, and we went, Guts messed up. Where were you this weekend? Oh, I went to a birthday party. What did they eat there? Junk. Yeah. Cake, pizza, ice cream. You get it? Yeah. So you need to give that kid vitamin C, vitamin D, and probiotics. Get it? The middle schooler 
is in track. You get it? So they're pushing, pushing, pushing. They're tired. They got shin splints and so on. You muscle scan them. You need different things to support ligaments, tendons. You get it? Mm -hmm. But their immune system is weak because of that stress. So you give them something different. The high schooler is studying for the SATs and they have finals. They're not sleeping. You get it? Mm -hmm. So now they need some other support. The mom, guess why she's sick? Because everybody's sick and mom's not allowed to get sick. <laughs> so now she needs more sleep, a massage, a vacation. Can you see this? She became an alcoholic. So <laughs> <Yeah. she's... laughs> Can you see this? They all need different things. And the dad, what happened to you? Oh, I'm a CEO of a company. I'm traveling everywhere. I'm always working. I never get time off and I don't make time for myself. You need something different. You understand? Mm -hmm. But if you're not muscle testing, it's so easy to just like a prescription for everybody. I mean, how long does that take? But are you really getting to the core issue, the problem? That's what holistic healing comes is, is really all about. You are healing yourself, but you're not going to get information except from what? You're very unique. You know, you have your own history. You have your own ancestry. You have your own solutions. You have your own stresses. So if you're going to get solutions, that you have to look into yourself by using the muscle test seminar. So what impact does the nervous system have on the, on the brain, the brain on the nervous system? This is from the University of Virginia. And read what it says out loud. What does it say? You'll have to rewrite the textbook. Right. Watch this. All right, Gabby, read that out loud. It's a stunning discovery that overturns decades of textbook teaching. Researchers at the School of Medicine have determined that the brain is directly connected to the immune system. So I say that again. That the what? The brain is directly connected to the immune system. Say that again. What the thing was that? <laughs> <laughs> the brain is directly connected to the immune system. By? By vessels previously thought not to exist. Okay. Laura, your turn. I really did not believe there were structures in the body that we were not aware of. I thought the body was mapped, said Jonathan Kipnis, a professor in the Department of Neuroscience and Director of the University Center for Brain Immunology and Glia. Yeah. So can you imagine that title? Like, hey, man, what do you do? Well, I'm the... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a long title, right? So watch this. Um, Abby, last one. How these vessels mm -hmm. could have escaped detection when the lymphatic system has been so thoroughly mapped <clears throat> throughout the body is surprisingly is surprising on its own. Can you see what's going on? There are more things that we're rediscovering, but here's the thing, your body is one thing. Your nervous system, your spine, your immune system, your organs, you're one thing. So if you want to be healthy, you need to be what? Whole. And you need to scan all those different components. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's just one study. So the key to muscle testing is what? How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. 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 Right. Perfect practice. So just keep practicing it. This is like riding a car. Remember when you were first, like 16, you're driving, learn how to drive a car? Remember how scary that was? It's like, shh, don't talk to me. Turn off the radio. Don't talk to me, right? And then you press the accelerator, you give yourself whiplash, and then you then overreact. You press the brakes, you give somebody else whiplash, and you hit the curve because you were very unfamiliar, true? Mm -hmm. Did you drive here, Abby? Mm -hmm. Did you have to think about driving? It's now muscle memory. It's unconscious now. You get it? Mm -hmm. You don't go accelerations like everything. That's how you master muscle testing. Yeah, you may have to come back to more seminars and practice and practice and practice. But the whole purpose of us educating you about this and sharing this information with you is not just information. You need to own this, that this is real. This is more real. The psychologist said in research that 50% of what we think is true is actually wrong. So you can't go by what you know. You know that, Laura. How many, how many times? It's not what you do all day long trying to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> nope, that's wrong. They claim it to be that, but that's not it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> For context. <laughs> exactly right. So again, the whole purpose of muscle testing established a priority. Remember I showed you? Adjustment first, extremity next. Because if you do the wrong priority, that would be like you baking a cake in the wrong sequence. You know, you could put everything together, put it in the oven. Oh, forgot the eggs. Does this still work? Mm -hmm. No, you can't go backwards and put the eggs in because it's already cooked. So avoid trial and error. You already, right? I'm not going to give you a nutrient so I can sell you a vitamin because I want to sell a vitamin. Mm -hmm. You can only take what you need. And also, 
we already talked about the family and also help you identify whose needs your own. your own you don't take somebody else's vitamin because that's the you know, oh oh yeah i took this vitamin at cvs and i saw it in the commercial it's like it really worked well you should take it like how do you know you don't know so don't take it scan it and you already know even if you're not here we could do that for you just call mom you know <laughs> we actually have a list in the morning who we can scan in the morning and the evening so as you guys as soon as you start you know you guys are very early in your in your care here you may have symptoms as soon as you get one sniffle or one symptom about something that's starting to linger call right away and say here's my symptoms we'll scan you and let you know immediately it'll take me about 15 seconds to do you might go oh yeah my right shoulder is like really okay let me scan that what's that going on um oh you're, you're just dehydrated and drink more water don't assume that you need to be adjusted Right? And you already know that. Thank you for sharing that, by the way. That's <laughs> pretty, pretty phenomenal. So yeah. what did you say what, when she said that to you? I'm she's... shocked. I was like, oh, that's so funny because he. I was talking to him. I had him scan you today uh -huh. because I, I was just thinking of her yeah, yeah. that day. Yeah. And I said, he said all this stuff. Like, yeah. You know, she's tired. She's easy. Yeah. She, yeah. And she's like, oh, my God, that's exactly <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so instead of like, you weird. telling her, hey, by the yeah. way, we scanned you. This is what showed exactly. up. It ma it's a match, right? Yeah. It's like just having somebody's phone number and you call that number and you're in. You're not going to call somebody else's because you're not thinking of that person. Mm -hmm. But that's what happens in the quantum. We're all connected in that regard. And again, here's the thing we talked about that's really, really critical. If you spend 10, 15, 20 years, 30 years ignoring your body because you go to a practitioner that, that suppresses your symptom, when you, when you suppress a symptom, what's your, what are you telling the body? I don't want to hear it. Yeah. You're not important. You suck, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> then if you keep having that relationship with the body and then you have cancer and you ask it to help you, is it going to be there? No, it's like, well, Laura, what have you done for me lately? You know what I mean? It's like, you've been ignoring me. So the more you do clearing the nervous system, balancing homeopathic remedies, because that makes sense, balancing the emotions, you keep clearing, 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 right? What happens to the relationship with yourself and your body on a cellular, emotional, spiritual level? What happens? Does it get worse or better? So now, as you get older, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, what's going to happen to you? You're going to get better and healthier. When everybody else thinks that everything is random, right? And you start to go downhill, and then you die. No, not yet. Don't die right away. Go into the hospital. Suffer lots of, you know... Do all these interventions and take lots of medications and do all kinds of surgeries. Isn't that what we do? Mm -hmm. If you don't understand how the body works. If you understand how the body works as a whole and once think about this. What's here's the question? Does your body want to be healthy or sick? What's the default setting? Healthy. What do you think? You agree? Maybe not, because you're not sure, because <laughs> but you're not sure anymore. But the default setting in your body is to be healthy. You understand? Becoming sick is really hard work. You have to not sleep properly. You have to eat crap. You have to not get adjusted. You have to not exercise. You have to over-exercise. You have to drink too much. You have to take too many meds. It's hard work to get sick. Your health is a default setting. You're supposed to be healthy. But because what we do, not understanding the principles of the body, we create sickness in our systems. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So, any questions or thoughts? How many people enjoy that, right? Mm -hmm. How many people got something out of that, okay? What did you get out of it that you take away that's going to make your life better? Just knowing how to muscle test yourself yeah. is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It empowers you yeah. to understand. You start to understand your own body and Correct. what it wants. Which right. I think is Anybody huge. else? Kind of to piggyback off of her, like yeah. regardless if it's like taking supplements yeah. or kind of something that's going on in your life, uh -huh. even just like what you were saying about what you do with your kids, like giving them food and yeah. stuff, like mm -hmm. even that can play a yeah. huge factor. And yeah. um, there was this one story that I heard from my chiropractor yeah. in North Carolina. This boy was like 16 or something. He was due to get surgery for scoliosis because the doctors were like, there's no other option. He has to get surgery. We're signing him up regardless whether he wants it or not. Yeah. And basically the mom didn't want that, found chiropractic work, yeah. 
and straightened it out over that time leading mm -hmm. up to the surgery, mm -hmm. they ended up canceling his surgery because his spine improved. Yes. And it was able to like signal to the rest of his body. Exactly. So. Exactly right. That's exactly right. And that's how powerful the body is, right? But when you have interference between the brain and the communication because of the nervous system, then it really diminishes the function of the body. How about you, Abby? What did you learn? Um, nutrients was kind of cool. Right. So now, because remember when you was like, when we checked it the other day, like, I took that stuff. It's not working. <laughs> remember, it's like, Abby, it was two days ago. It's like, it's like, well, what else are you going to think if you don't understand muscle? That's like, because you're used to taking a pill. Like, oh, man, I feel so much better. My arm yeah. doesn't hurt. Right? Mm -hmm. And that's what you're thinking these are. And so what you're really doing, you're putting raw materials into your body so you can create new cells, healthier cells, so you can make new tendons and ligaments and brain cells. Do you understand? And that takes time for the process. And thank you for <laughs> being open. I love you because you know what? Because you just <laughs> ask straight answers. Like, well, how does that work? It's like, that's not working. It's like, that's why you need to do the seminars because now you then get yourself you know, proper information so you can pass the test in your, in your, own, in your own life. Um, Okay, oh, yeah, Laura, we'll wait till next year. So one thing, doesn't have to be something profound. I like the nutrients too. You like that? Yeah, because I don't okay. take any. Right, right. And that's A okay. lot of people don't. Though. Yeah, but why would you? What's, what's your information? How do you know? Right, so the one thing we can do, we have a whole seminar on labs too. We do blood work, we do hair analysis, we do you know, um, um, heavy metal testing. You could go really deep, and that's probably like 90%, you know, 95% accurate. If you just want to do the muscle test, you're at least 60, 60, 50, 60 percent, at least better than guessing. Yeah, and better than most people. Correct. They're not, you know. Right. Exactly. Then you, here's another thing. If you take, I think when I came, you muscle test all the vitamins I was taking yeah. and you were like, well, let me just, I think there was only one yeah. out of all of them that I was taking that he was like, you don't need this, but I'm surprised all the other ones you were right on, yeah. which yeah. I don't know how I figured that. Which is validating. Muscle test. But the thing is validating. Like, yeah. It's validating exactly. to you. And here's another thing. You don't make anybody wrong. Be open to everything, be attached to nothing, have nothing to do with me. It's about you. Where can you go to where it's all about you? Right? And that's really what we're trying to do. Be a human being, but you need to be validated by validating you and connecting with you. And just imagine what your life will be, again, 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the road, by continuing to connect with yourself. And guess what? There's going to be a lot of crazy stuff that you've accumulated in your body for 25, 30, 40, 50, 60 years that you have to work through now because that's become part of who you are, all the subluxation patterns and the abnormal, abnormal patterns. So again, that's the reason why, that's what I mean by providing you with the best technology. This is the best technology that's around right now, right, in holistic health and life care. And again, my goal for all of you is to be the best human being that you can be at any moment in time so when somebody calls on you that needs you, you can be available for that person because you're glowing with, you know, internally with healing and, and, um, and hope for others. Our next seminar is the six, six secrets of how to support the healthy immune system. Here's the thing. People don't, you don't stimulate or you don't boost your immune system. You want a normal immune system. Yes. Mm -hmm. People always think like in, it's a traditional model. It's like either more or is better. Like not necessarily. You want a normal immune system. How do you keep a normal immune system so it kicks in when you need it? Because if you overstimulate the immune system, what's that do? Thyroid issues, autoimmune issues, rheumatoid. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All kinds of auto, autoimmune issues because the immune system is over. So you don't want a better, you don't want a stronger immune system. You want a normal immune system. And that's our seminar for next coming. Okay. So it's really a heavy burden to me because why? You guys already know what most people don't know about health, but most people don't understand what well, health comes from. That's why you've all ended up here going to everybody because they're not teaching you. What does doctor mean in Latin, by the way? Anybody know? Anybody know at all? Doctor means, docere in Latin means teacher. Somebody that knows enough to be able to teach you. What does it become in our society? What does doctor mean? Somebody that's going to try to make you feel better, trying to save your life, correct? Mm -hmm. But that's not what it means. Doctor means teacher. And so that's why we take that very seriously in our practice. We only accept people that are being willing to be educated. If you're not willing to be educated, 
you're just going to not get the best results. So if you're edu educated, then you can then and think about this, you know, you're here now. So with the situation that we have right now, I really implore you to observe what people are doing. Don't judge them and just pray for them and encourage them. Um, those of you online, thank you for joining us this evening. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and also on YouTube, and also on our website, drmariano.com. And David Hawkins' Map of Consciousness, I'll leave you with us tonight. There are different frequencies to different emotions. Think about this. If there's emotions of shame, you've done something in the past from to someone, or somebody did something to you and you feel shame, look at the frequency. What's that number? Out of what? A thousand. A thousand. You go down to guilt. Can you see this? 30. Apathy is 50. Grief is 75. Fear. This is where most everybody is right now. See how low that frequency is? Right? And look at the emotions associated with it. Can you see this? And look at the life view. Life is what? Do you see what's going on? Here's the challenge. If you increase your frequency up here, the reason, love, and joy, right? Look at peace. Is What's just more important, peace or love? What's higher frequency? Peace. Correct. Here's what David Hawkins peaceful, said. Then you're able to love. That's exactly right. Because you're peaceful, then you're not judging. Right? Love is not as powerful because if somebody does something to you, then all of a sudden you don't love them anymore. Right? right. But if you're not judging anyone, then what happens? So here's the thing. Here's what Dr. David Hawkins said. If you vibrate at this frequency, about 20 people vibrating at 600 will negate 10,000 people at 50. It's a quantum. It's exponential. You understand? It's not one-to-one. -one. So if you want to make a difference in this world with the challenges that we're having right now, find yourself vibrating at the higher frequency so not only can you help yourself but you can emanate the electromagnetic field into everybody else around you what does that mean should you watch the news where do you think the news vibrates Zero. 100 right and then after that you just get so beat up you're like i just don't care anymore you get it or people like um this is just like you know or fear, you understand? Or you get into anger, you just go back and forth over here. Mm. So be careful what you feed your mind, what you feed your body, what you feed your soul. Go into things that feed you, that allows you to increase your vibration. So thank you so much for being here this evening. Give yourself a big hand. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. see you guys later. Have a good day.